The car you see before you is the brand new Audi A4, known inside the company as the B9. The car it replaces, the B8, sold 19,400 units in its eight years on sale, almost half of all A4s ever sold in Australia. It's got a big job ahead of it. It has to catch the 3 Series and C-Class and help underpin Audi's continuing sales growth. The new lineup is made of four sedans, two front-wheel drive cars with a 1.4-litre entry level and a 2-litre, both of them turbo. The new 1.4 is cheaper than the old 1.8, and the new 2-litre fills a gap between the entry level and the all-wheel drive quattros. The two quattros are a 140 kilowatt turbo diesel and a 185 kilowatt 2 litre turbo petrol. Both have identical specification sheets before you start loading up with the many available options and packages. The new car does look suspiciously like the old one. Audi predictably calls this an evolutionary approach. Some will say it's too safe, but you certainly couldn't call it ugly. As with the TT and Q7, there's lots of lovely detailing, including a new clamshell bonnet and those funky LED daytime running lights. Standard in all A4s is the big 8.3 inch MMI screen. Controlled by a rotary dial on the console, you can ride out your sat-nav destination on the touchpad. There's also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and two proper USB ports, no more silly proprietary cable. All cars in the range also have three zone climate control and these clever touch sensitive switches that look and feel great. Every surface feels good and all cars have at least partial leather interior. The B9 is longer and wider with more rear legroom and shoulder room and yet the car is an average 65 kilos lighter than the one it replaces. This is due to lots of small weight savings like magnesium frames on interior parts and lots of aluminium throughout. One of the particular standouts of these cars, these new ones, is the ride and handling. The old one rode okay but over difficult surfaces would start to wallow and carry on and it really wasn't that impressive. But this one, just really, it's, it's a revelation. And even on big wheels, and this particular car I'm driving now has big 19 inch wheels, it's really, really nice and composed. Everything's changed inside. And the old, the old interior was perfectly nice, but it was getting on. And when you don't really have a chance to do a proper do-over for eight years, you want to do it properly, and they've done it properly. There's a lot of Q7 in here. We've got the virtual cockpit, which is really impressive. There's, <laughs> you've got to see it to believe it. It's so good, and it's it's not just up to date now. It feels like everyone's going to have to catch up to it, and I do think that's that's a fair thing to say. Virtual cockpit. There's tons of technology, even in the base model. We're currently in the two-liter Quattro TFSI, top of the range, with everything in it. But you never feel like you're being shortchanged in any of the A4s. And again, that's something that they've done to really give the model a push along and get it to, uh, to close the gap to particularly the 3 Series, that's the next target, and then C-Class. We're going to have to start thinking about Audi as a car that drives really well, and it will take it, despite being front and all-wheel drive, we'll start taking it to its rear-wheel drive competitors. There are some times when you're just going to want rear-wheel drive and you're going to end up in one of the other two, but this is really giving it to them. Uh, and, and the more Audis that, that are refreshed or updated or new ones that come out, the driving, the steering, the feel, the connection with the road, it's coming. And that's, that's important in this segment. A lot of people get into cars like this and if they're back to backing with the other ones, they notice the difference, but you're not gonna notice such a gap now. Not that there's even a gap, it's just different now rather than feeling like it's deficient. The new A4 is a big step forward for Audi. It not only catches the competition with lots of new toys and heaps of safety tech, but it pulls ahead in some areas with a high level of standard equipment and frugal, powerful engines.